The presidential amnesty program was instituted by the Nigerian government in June 2009 to end the disruptive protest in the oil-producing Niger Delta. Activities of militants in the region led to loss of crude oil and ultimated revenue for the government. Through the program, militants were given a state pardon, educational training and a monthly stipend in exchange for the surrender of weapons. At this launching of a report on the assessment of the presidential amnesty program in Abuja, the call to do more is still strong 10 years later. Is the presidential amnesty program going to go on ad infinitum? Is there a sunset clause? How do you begin to wind up, if you must, the presidential amnesty program without triggering a return to the years of trouble in the region. One may think that the amnesty program is a permanent solution, but this may not be entirely accurate. Unfortunately, eyes, we took our eyes off and said amnesty has bought peace for us, so everybody forgot everything about the development of the region. For us to make any progress in either direction, I, with the experience that I've had on this committee since 2015, I'm calling that we need very serious and deep and robust stakeholder engagement so that we don't end up with a situation that will come back in the Niger Delta that we have been trying to avoid. What are some of the suggestions from this report? The research led us to a conclusion that the best thing government could do at this time is to devour the program, take it back to the decentralize it, let every state have a, a, a piece of the pile of the PAP. The launch of this report is intended to start a conversation that will elicit deep thoughts and actions on a sustainable road path to development in the oil-rich region. Aon Dina Inga, Silverbird, News24.